don't give me the money, Martyr. I have to go to the market tomorrow. Why are you doing that? Why not? I wore it for the first time at Beatrice's wedding. That is the dress that man gave to you. And you shouldn't wear it. Why? I don't know. I just don't think it's right. It's not right, is it? But it's all right. When you get all excited at seeing Luis in the courtyard. Twenty years younger than you. And it's all right to steal money from your sister. Why do you do it, Veronica? Do not speak so loud. You'll wake up that girl. I don't care. I've nothing to hide. Here. Miss, I must tell you something. Well, that's quite a change. I didn't notice. You look much prettier. Don't touch me. Have you got a lover? Huh? I was decent when young, as I am decent now. My house is a respectable house. I don't like young ladies coming in at late hours. And what about you? All right, all right. Don't get upset. Really, you look 40 years younger. Good night. Hello, all you white people. I'm supposed to introduce you. Oh. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Get Old the Clown. Yay! Hey, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah. All right. Hello, all you white people. Hi. How you doing today? Okay. Fight the power. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to be on the corner of Fair Ocean Mountain. Oh, you remember. Selling all these Valentine's Day cards, because you know it is Valentine's Day. The streets don't cross. Shush. Well, they do a little bit, you know. In the ghetto, they do. Close enough for us. Well, if you want a special Valentine's Day card by your own racist, most personal black person who dresses up as a clown, just go ahead and send me an email at ghettotheclown, gmail.com. All right. Anyway, that didn't make no sense. But here's an example. He's gold. He hasn't even started. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Sorry, bitch. I found somebody new. Yeah. That was classic. One more. Here we go. We got... Couple more right here. Came from the top of the head. Roses are red, violets are blue. Shut up, bitch. Yeah! <laughs> Man, that's racist. All right. But it gets to the point. Oh, yeah, it does. Straight to the point. Here's one more. Oil is dirty, slobber is wet. The day I met you, I will always regret. Yes! Hallmark! Hallmark! Straight out. You can go ahead and get that Roscoe chicken and waffles. All right. <laughs> Roses are red. Bananas are bent. I have you. I have to tell you. I got your cousin pregnant. <laughs> and that's just too bad. Anyway. Just too bad. Anyway. I just, just something I had to say, you know. Hold on, hold on. One of my baby moms are calling. I'll pick up Teddy tomorrow. All right. Yeah. Here's one more. Frogs are green. Kool-Aid is red. I just met you last night. Get out of my bed. <laughs> Woo! I said that somebody last night. <laughs> and that's all I got right now. Hold on, hold on. One of my baby moms are calling. 
I'll pick up Tay tomorrow. All right. Here's one more. Frogs are green, Kool-Aid is red. I just met you last night. Get out of my bed. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I said that so many last night. <laughs> and that's all I got right now. Oh, you got more, hurry up! Oh, wait a minute, I, I think I do got a little bit more. Hold on, Dude. hold on. Ah, oh, there we go, there's another paper. No. Um... You didn't change papers. All right, yeah, I did. <laughs> Just forgot the other side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Roses are red. Violets are blue. Even though they're really not blue. But my shirt is blue. That. <laughs> that wasn't on there. <laughs> All right. Off the top of the head. Top of the head. Roses are expensive. Violets are too. I got no money. Let me borrow some, bitch. Right. Man, this is, I mean, this is gold right here. It's gold! Gold. Read the next ones. I only got a couple more. All right, I know. Um, this is ghetto personalized cards. Our love is like a rock. Your love is like a mole. Whenever I'm with you, I want to be behind I want to be buried in your hole. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. That didn't sound right. That did not sound right. That's not what it said. <laughs> All right, that's good enough, Dad. All right. You got to go pick up Tay Day. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. Oh, this oh, man. <laughs> Why are you guys laughing so hard? It's like I want to be buried in a hole, not in your hole. You dirty punk. All right. So now you're going to sit on the chair, get the, the booklet and be across your leg and be all comfortable. And then when I, when I count you down, just go, and I'm not going to say who you are, just go, hello, children. Veronica, look. Scandalizing the whole village. Doesn't it seem strange to you, Veronica, that a woman like that has taken a room in our house? What are you thinking about, Mother? About what happened to that shameless hussy. You know, it wasn't an accident. She deserved it. You mean that girl's the same? Or worse? Mother, you shouldn't speak as if you knew the will of our Lord. God has mercy for all his creatures. Not for all of them, Veronica. Not for all of them. The knife sharpener. Take the knives to him. And these as well. Don't you remember if she mentioned where she was going before she left? She said nothing. She left and that's all there is to it. And furthermore, I'm glad she's no longer here. I know she's your sister, but you're different. What do you mean by that? I mean nothing. But have you seen how that Helen Miller dresses? So provocative and indecent? Yes, I've seen her. They think it's the modern style, but it's pure indecency. You are also a foreigner, but your dress is normal. It's elegant. 
Sometimes people wear other clothes to be more comfortable. Comfort's no excuse. I would never dream to walk about the house in my underwear to be more comfortable. Will you have breakfast? No, thank you. I bought it from an old woman in the village. You'd have to travel a long way before you'd find anything half as good as this. Oh, it's beautiful. Who is she? Her name's Helen. She's staying at the same pension. She'll be back in a minute. Do you want to meet her? Of course. She looks the kind that is looking for sun and adventures to last them the rest of the year. Don't you approve of that? Who? Me? Naturally. They don't do anybody any harm. Why don't you explain that to the owners of the pension? According to them, unless you're dressed from head to foot, you should be burning in hell, and the sooner the better. to bed. Tomorrow pack up your things and leave. You'll stay no more in this house. I'll leave. But first, I'd like to know what you've got under all those clothes that makes you so different from me, from other women. Let's see. What are you doing? Shh. You waking a boy, I guess? What have you got hidden under there, eh? Come on, tell me. I won't tell anybody. You are mad. You must have the same thing as everyone else. Well, this is Nell again. It's that time of the month. No, I don't mean that, that time of the month. This is my time of the month I get to do something. You know, when you all got to go, you got to go. Do you ever get tired of using too much toilet paper? Yeah, Maybe you need to go on a toilet paperless diet. You know, when you go to the 
store and you start looking at the rows very carefully, don't you know they're making the core a lot bigger and they put less paper on the row? Rip off. That's right. <laughs> and, and how many times do you got to go, go? So yeah. I came up with a solution for that. You know, the, a toilet paperless diet, the first thing you want to do is you want to eat a box of corn dogs every morning for breakfast. Yeah! Uh, I re maybe about four of them will work. Oh, and, and for your lunches, you can try eating a, 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 a hamburger for yeah. lunch. Yeah! And then maybe say? eat another hamburger for lunch. But please leave out the cheese. It might alter the diet. Oh, and, yeah, and, the cheese. and for dinner every night, you want to make sure that you eat a Super Supreme pizza because in the Super Supreme pizza, <laughs> you're going to get all the vegetables that you're going to need. Heart attack. <laughs> and then now you got the berry bars. You, you need your sugar and fruit, so you're going to want to try to eat some berry bars for dessert every night. You know, you got to keep your <laughs> diet on the level. Yeah, and, and believe me, once you go on a toilet paperless diet, you will never need to use toilet paper again. Yeah, yeah what a relief. Then you get to go just like the way the cats do it. Nice, clean cut every time. Now, now, now you might want to, this may not work for everyone, you might want to go talk to your doctor before going on a toilet paperless diet because the, the bad results could be the side effects of severe di I mean severe uh, constipation and believe me, it, it's going to take more than rotor rooter to clean out your drain. Yeah! So, uh, toilet paperless paper diet. Yeah, the Love it. You fun. never have to worry about paper again. Yeah! 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 Good afternoon, Martha. Hello, Veronica. Good afternoon, Beatrice. You want something, Beatrice? No, nothing at all. I was just passing by. Now, listen. We have been friends all our lives, haven't we? Why do you say that? I want you to know that I am telling you for your own good. It is about that girl who just arrived, the one with the baby. What about her? Oh, nothing, really. Ah. After all, business is business. You can't refuse to rent her a room just because of that. And maybe you don't even know. Know what? Speak up, Beatrice. What are you talking about? She's not married. And she's got a baby. But she told us that... And don't believe that it's just gossip. She had the effrontery to say in the tobacconist that she didn't know who the father was. Poor little baby. Girls nowadays are just traps. You know who I was thinking of? That shameless wench that fooled your fiancé and ran away with him. Just like her. Remember we heard she had had a baby. Hello, children. Hello. How are you guys doing today? Ah, uh, who cares? Well, I got a story for you guys. Oh boy. And as you can see, it's my personal May story. Oh, goody, goody. You guys ready? Because yeah. I'm, I'm not ready. Oh, All right. I'm scared. I'm not ready. Once upon a time, there was a nice lady named Miss Mabel. She was going downtown on the bus to pick up her, her general relief check. For all you ignorant people, that means a welfare check. So, she could pay Mr. Whitney his rent. Why are you so add? It's Whitney, it says Whitney. Whitney his rent. Why are you his, his, his rent money that was due last week. Mr. Whitney. Whitey! Whatever, he's Mr. Whitey now. Right. Mr. Whitey was a mean guy and never gave Miss Mabel a break. What a cracker. Anyway, Miss like <laughs> Mabel didn't have enough money for the bus because she 
she spent her last nickel on cat food that she had been eating. Now, first off, <laughs> she needed cat food because people food was too expensive, in case you guys didn't know. Denzel, man. She's a pussy. <laughs> she tried walking down the street, but her bunnies, were, but her bunnies <laughs> were killing her. She went back home and didn't even get a chance to sit on, on her couch when there was a knock on the door. It was Mr. Whitey coming, from, coming for his rent money. Miss, Miss Mabel thought, what am I going to do? She, she hid behind the couch and permitted not to be there. Pretended. <laughs> Pretended not to be there. Mr. Whitey, I know you're there. Mr. Follow Whitey the leader. Said, I know you're there. Mr. Whitey yelled, I know you're there. Follow the leader. Open up. Miss Mabel said, There's no one home. What a dumbass. Miss Mabel figured, figured it was useless to hide from Mr. Whitey and open the door. You got my rent money, bitch. <laughs> Miss Mabel started to cry and tried explaining to Mr. Whitey about the bus and her feet. She also told Mr. Whitey if she could please wait until Monday and she would have the rent money for him. Mr. Whitey then said, you need to give me some sugar, baby. So that dirty Mr. Whitey, after the sugar, Mr. Whitey threw Miss Mabel out on the street and she was homeless. The end. <laughs> Yay! Major motion picture coming up. Oh, God. All right, one more thing, we're finished. Hey man, you, okay. you, you misspelled a lot of stuff. Yeah, you didn't help either. I think you misread a lot of stuff. Yeah. Oh, that too. Yeah. All right. That man was not your husband, was he? My sister doesn't want to hurt you, Laura. But who was this man? Are you going to tell us? I'm afraid it's useless, Veronica.
Dancing shoes on. 